Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to build a fob, super fob, and all the stuff, how to use that, etc. Okay, let's get straight into it, but first, let's get to the crate part, okay? First, you th first thing you want to know is, you need one big crate for a fob. It's one, one of those big crates, you can get it from a helicopter drop. Or a lorry truck. The lorry truck will carry two of them. Some helicopters only carry around with one of them. Some smaller one. And I will I will get that get to it later. So one of the big crates you can build a fob with, but not a super fob. So you cannot build a tow, you cannot build a um, anti-air, you cannot build anything. Only a fob. Okay. If you want to build a super fob, which means you build it with asset. Then you need two crates, two big crates to build a super farm. Now we're gonna get into the next one. So, this is a little crate, this one. You need two of them to build one farm. So, actually, what it means is two of the little crate equals one big crate. So, you need four of them for super farm. Okay? The third one, the the ammo crate you cannot build fob or anything with ammo crates this is only f uh, for ammo resupply and yeah you cannot do anything with it only for ammo resupply now you guys know the differences between the small crate the big crate and the ammo crate let's get into building fobs first of all of course first of all you need to be the squad leader and you have to have a squad leader kit once you have that, you use the radio, you right click it on it, you have to be close to the crate though, of course, you have to right click on it, hold T, press T, hold it, left mouse click on deploy, and you can choose what you want to deploy. But first, every first thing you want to deploy is a forward outpost, so a fob. We need repairs on this marker. Okay. You can see it will pop up right away. There you go. This is a fob. I'm playing on a co-op single player server, so it's not like I have to dig everything. So it just put it instantaneously. Uh, normally in the server you have to dig with your shovel. But um, today I'm gonna save some time for you guys and for me. So let's just, it's basically the same thing. So let's just get into it. So this is a forward operation base. You can spawn on it see on the map it shows on the little green triangle let's get a little bit away this is the marker of a fob after two minutes once you place on the fob and it's docked up after two minutes it will become spawnable and uh, your friendly can spawn in now you guys know how to build a fob let's get in get onto the asset same thing as the fob you go to radio right mouse click hold t deploy and get to the hmg first. well let's just talk hmg first it's a heavy machine gun it popped up and go inside press e it's a very strong machine gun it just actually just a uh, uh, 50 cal you can press t to change uh, iron side and i don't know what it's called another not a few. Once you're in iron sight, you can zoom in by pressing the right mouse button. As you can see, you can see more. Shoot. So this is the heavy machine gun. Let's get on to the next one. That's the anti-air. It's anti-air. You get inside, you will get a warm up time. If the any jets fly by, you can shoot it down. I don't really have a jet with me, so I can't really show it. But I will show you some footage when I uh, using the anti air.
So, so that is that uh, AA. Next up, we have the tow. We need repairs on this so marker. Anti tank. Place it down. You get inside. You press C. You get in the thermal vision. You press C once more. You zoom in. You press you press C the third time. You get in normal vision. This is very effective against enemy vehicles or infantry. You can also shoot infantry with this because uh, it will sh it's basically uh, in uh, flare scope and you can actually see everything. It's also guided. So, for example, I want to shoot this house. I can actually sh uh, I can actually aim a little bit to the right. To fire this, you hold down your left mouse button and you see a little seek down on the bottom right. You see that? Hold it for two seconds. Fire. You can guide it towards the house or the target you want to destroy. So this is how you use the tow. So next up, let's build a mortar. We need repairs on it's this marker. Ex exactly the same as the everything else. I already, I already make a separate video about how to use mortar. You can click on the right upper corner if you want to see the full video of mortar. Next up, the razor wire. We need repairs on this marker. There we go. You see this uh, vehicle cannot go through. Also, without the infantry, if you hit it, you will like bleed. Look at this. You will take damage. So don't uh, run into that thing. It's, you can block vehicles. You can block people with it. It just burn. Every it just a sort of like a wall. So next we have the foxhole and send bags. So you press left mouse button to place we down the foxhole. On this it's just a cover from. It's actually just a uh, a cover from front and side, but not from the back. You can you can just hide behind there. And the second one is the send bags. Right mouse click on it. We need repairs on this marker. And it's a smaller version of the foxhole. Look at this. It's the same principle, but it is smaller. You can still like shoot, crouch and shoot through. Okay. Okay. Now I've gone through all the S and deployment. Uh, let me show you how to destroy them as score leader. Okay. You go to one of your assets. You take a radio out. Hold T and press once, right click. So remove asset. Press right mouse button once more to destroy it completely. Don't over click it. If you click it like three or four times, it will say read the manual and you can't remove anything for like five minutes. Okay? So just right mouse button on it, remove asset. Very simple. And you have to make sure there's nobody on it, nobody on the toe or nobody on the mortar when you does that. Because if you if someone is using it and you delete it, then you will become dead dead. And uh, you don't want that. That's it. So that's basically how you build stuff, and that's how you basically use stuff. And also, I want to uh, talk about, you can only build one AA per superfab, one toe per superfab, two HMG per superfab. Mm, so yeah, this is how you basically build stuff and destroy stuff as a score leader. So thank you guys for watching. If you have more questions, you can leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, i see you guys next time.